Lincoln Jobs Lightspeed Quiz 2016 number three. We're pooling this one today, so the top three from each pool go through into the royalty final. Uh, there will be a short playoff for the fourth, uh, last place in the royalty final between the two pools. And you'll be seeing two pools later on anyway. But loads of questions to come. On the buttons uh, is us lot, and on the question it's Fraser Lee's a rookie thrown into the deep end. Good luck everybody, uh, enjoy yourself and welcome especially to all the rookies. Uh, take no prisoners, cafe dear boys, cafe dear. <laughs> 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 Question one, collections. What does a Helix, sorry, a Helix... Whoa, 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 whoa. I was going to say sun, but uh, I'm out, so minus one for me. Oh, it's Steve, yes. It's climbing there. Wait for the uh, climb on, yeah. Yeah? Corkscrews. It's correct. Question two. Which island nation was known as the New Hebrides <laughs> until now? Simon. Week? New Caledonia. Incorrect. Clive, Vanu he jumped in. Vanuatu. Vanuatu is correct. Oh, good answer. Question three. Triton is the last moon on which planet? Stick it. Triton is Neptune. It's correct. Right. Question four. Geological time. The Triassic and Jurassic periods are in which geological era? Simon. Mesozoic. It's correct. Question five. Are you set? Yep. Yeah. Go. Go. Question five. A moderate breeze, which is 12 to 18 miles an hour, is which number on the ball for? Steve Kidd. Five. Wrong. Michael. Four. Correct. Have you negged me there? No, I yeah. Good question. Finished, haven't you? Had it finished? Yeah, I think it's a yeah. state, yeah. You put the plus one on there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it reset. Reset. Yeah. No, it reset. Right, question six. Theodore Seaborg, Seaborg, who was named after him, was given a Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1951 for the discovery of which element? Stick it. Seaborg, you. No, I've just given some. <laughs> no, it's not. Steve Roach. Has he? No. Michael? It's Erbium. No. Simon? Actinium. No. Mike Preston? Astium. Astium. No. That's wine. Colin? Rhodium? No. Is that it? I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, six of them. Californium. Um, really? Californium, yeah. Question seven. What was the name of the computer invented by Charles Babbage in 1820? Steve Rudd. No, it's fine. Michael. Difference machine? It's correct. Oh, Difference, oh, engine. Oh, Difference engine. Well, Difference engine. Well, Difference engine. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Difference yeah. engine, come on. Oh, he's got the gist of the Difference answer. Difference engine. Difference engine. Difference Difference engine. Difference Difference right. What's the difference? Right. Right. Yeah. What, yeah. what do you, what do you think, Michael? Oh, he's right. I'll give he's got the gist of it. Question of As I'm spotting, I'll, I'll give Is it to Michael? Yes, Michael. Michael He's got it. Differences and uh, really a reset of one. Go. Which of the question eight? Which of the apostles is the patron saint of Portugal? Steve Kidd. Uh, James. No. Simon. Zacharias. No. Steve Rhodes. Simon. No. Michael. John. John. No. Five. George. George. No, no, no. Colin. Matthew. No. Mark Preston. Peter. No. I don't even know what it is. Is that everyone gone? No, everybody. Yeah, that's eight. Well, well Michael yeah. played him in Jesus Christ Superstar. It's eight times. I'll have a doubt. Are they all minus then? No, no, no. Twice. Just with imagining that bit at the end, I thought, ooh. Right. Question nine. The Golden Raspberry Awards. Ben Affleck has won three Worst Actor Awards for three films. Giglet and Paycheck were two of them. What was the other? Steve Kidd. Jersey Girl. Yeah. Yeah. 
Michael, Pearl Harbor? No. Go on, crack on. It's got to be Daredevil, surely. Yeah, it's Daredevil. Uh, <laughs> it got worse a couple of Jersey I know it got worse a couple of Jersey Girl. I thought it was a good film, that, Daredevil. I like Jersey Girl. <laughs> so what? Pearl Harbor was a good film. Daredevil was a good film. Question, question 10, UK politics. Who was the oldest UK Prime Minister when, who was 82 years old when he was elected for the last time? Simon. William Gladstone. It's correct. He come in before the question. Yeah, no, he meant to. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah. 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 Is. When you hear that a buzzer go off. Yeah. Reset. Reset. Sorry. Good to go. Right, question 11. African capitals. The city of Conakra. Simon? Guinea. Is correct. Oh, is that how you pronounce it? Conakra. I never knew how they pronounce it. What, Guinea? I've got a language, it's one. I thought it was like conquer it. Conakra? Conakra. Right, I'm with you now. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Conakra. Right. Question 12. Norse gods. Name the second son of Odin, the god of warfare and battle. Steve Rudd. Four. Sorry? Four? No. Mark Preston. Wookie? No. Simon? Frey. Frey? No. Michael? Tyre. He's correct. Tyre. Oh, oh, Tyre. Yeah, it's, it's getting mixed up. Choose his name after him. Is the question finished then? Yeah. yeah. Question 13. Battles. The Battle of Blenheim, of Blenheim in 1704 took part during which war? Michael. Spanish succession. Is correct. Question 14. Unrepealed laws. Passed by Oliver Cromwell, what is it, what is it still illegal to eat on Christmas Michael. Day? Michael. It's bad. Is correct. <laughs> Fifteen beds. Made in 1580, the great bed of Worth is mentioned. Five. Some Shakespeare. No, that's not the right answer, is it? Mark Preston. And that's Way's bed. No. So Clive loses this one. Yeah. Haven't finished the question. Nice. Mark loses one. Clive loses one, yeah. Yes. Right. Seven. Right. Made in 1580, the great bed. The great bed of war is mentioned in which of Shakespeare's plays? Simon. Many wives of Windsor. Incorrect. Steve Kidd. The Stratford. No. no. Steve Rhodes. Twelfth night. What is the twelfth night? Twelfth night's correct. No, I don't know. No, you have to play. I didn't know you have to play. Sixteen. Which household device was invented in the USA by Percy Spencer? Steve Kidd. Microwave. It's correct. Ding. Before the answer. <laughs> 17. Started in 1904, the German manufacturer com manufacturing company, Stive, I think. Steve Kidd. Teddy bears. It's correct. <laughs> My first question on Mastermind, I've got it wrong. <laughs> what did the manufacturer? Steve. It, 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 you know they give you a dolly to start with. Yeah. Or, or a teddy bear. <laughs> Blow up dolls? <laughs> question 18. Strange studies. What is serology? Which is C-E-R-E-O-L-O-G-Y, -E 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 the study of? Seven. Crops. No. Clive. That's what I was going to say, crops. Steve Kidd. Grass. No. Michael. Oh, right, he's got a little look about him there. We're close, we're right? near the target. Clouds. <laughs> no. Mark Preston. Crop circles. It's correct. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the little ones we thrown back. back. <laughs> I've got a clearly strange study. Oh, of course, yeah. Nineteen statues. The world's biggest carved monument, carved into Mount Thunderhead in South Dakota, USA. Michael Krizibos is correct. That's a good answer. Very good. 
which is my last question. When the game of Pelota is played with the handbasket, what is it known as? Clive. J-O-I. It's correct. Oh. 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 Brilliant, nice fair question. Uh, we're going to move on with the next question, oh. Stefan. We've got uh, Clive Dunning. Oh, next yeah, questions coming up now. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, Tony's asking him. Oh. <laughs> I, I get you, I get you. You're, you're the getty, not the giver. <laughs> Oh, well. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mess about with this control thing, so I'll just ask questions. Yeah, no, that's what you do, that's, that's your yeah. job. Already? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Question one. Who invented the short form of cricket known as Cricket the Max in 1996, which is a precursor to 2020? Oh, oh fuck. Steve Kidd. Uh, Kerry Packer. No. Steve Rhodes. Capo Dev. No. Simon. Shane Moore. No. These are necks, aren't they? These are all necks. These are all necks. Right, yeah. 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 I, I, I heard you describe the neck centres. Steve. Steve. And Simon. And Simon. <laughs> ah, the Simmons, the Simmons screen. Yeah, we got it. Okay, he was a New Zealand international. Michael. Hadley. These negatives as well. No, 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 no. These are these are next. Oh, that's it. That's it, yeah. Um, Clive. Martin Crow. Martin Crow, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 sneaks in at the end there. <laughs> Reset. Ouch. <laughs> don't, don't do that with your head when you've got a big scab on it. Can you pass me my hat, please? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> in the pot pie. Right, Amy Winehouse is new boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Question two. Which chemical, which chemical element translates as copper demon? Michael. Uh, cobalt? No, that's the closest goblin cobalt. Cobalt. That's one of my questions, really. Cheers, Tom. No! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Steve Rhodes. Iodine? No. Simon? Copernicum? No. Steve Kidd? There ain't one called Cyprian, but I'm going to say it. No. Might not say one, but there is one. There to go. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I'm Walter White now. Anyone else? Yeah. Colin! New video. No. no, I don't know. Nickel. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's one of the German copper and demons. Right, Chris Curry. A pair of Tiger Cubs were the mascots for which Summer Olympic Games? Steve Kidd. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, where's it coming from? Really? Yeah. I've got Tiger Cubs being. Tiger, 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 Tiger. We're all old enough to remember that. Right. Cuba is the largest island in the Caribbean. Which island is the second largest? <laughs> Simon. He's spamming out. A lot of people there. How far were they far? <laughs> I'm laughing for a different Not reason. Not that far. I said I'm laughing for a different reason. Right. There are only two female singers whose surname begins with the letter J who have had a UK number one singles. As, sorry, as UK number one singles as the main rather than featured artist. One is Jesse J, who is the other? Michael. Janet Jackson. Colin. Jamelia. Grace Jones. No. Simon. I was going to say Grace Jones, so no. No one? No! Guess oh, Steve Rhodes. Carly Rae Jepsen. Carly Rae Jepsen. Oh! Good answer. Great answer. Great answer. Best one for the day so far, mate. Which company make the car models? Space Runner? Gallant? Simon. Ford. No. Have you finished? No. Minus one. Charisma. <laughs> Michael. Toyota. No. I'm cold. Steve Kidd. Mr. Bushy. I did so want to say Mr. Bushy, really, does, but. Steve Kidd. Yeah. Alright. Right. He's the one for the buzzer. Reset. Right. How is Terry Bollier better known? Oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Corgan. No, oh, mate. Here's a tie. Is that all right? Is it? I can't see Oh, yes, it is, yes. 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 Yeah, Michael and Colin. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Michael and Colin. Colin, Colin presume you said. Yeah. 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 One point each for yeah. those. Pearl Book was the first American woman to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. Who in 1993 was the second? Colin. Not heard of Clive? Only Morrison. 
Okay, okay, I'm looking for a female singer here. She has the surname Sobert. She reached number 32 in the UK charts in 2011 with the song Blow. 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 She reached number 15 in 2010 with the song Take It Off. She reached number... Steve Kidd. Taylor Swift. No. She reached number 7 in 2012 with... No, sorry, so just take oh, the right. off the screen. She reached number seven in 2012 with Da Young, and number one in 2010 with We Are Who We Are. Steve Rhodes. Lana Del Rey. Somebody else? Simon. Simon. That one should be a row. Nice one, I'd like to give you the points. Come on, get out of here. Nobody's going to get you. Kesha. Michael. Kesha. Kesha, yeah. We got over that tomorrow. Is that right? Is it right? Yeah. Did someone get it? Kesha. Yeah, Michael. Michael just said it. Yeah, Mike said it. Did they? What was the Taylor Swift song like? Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Okay. Robert Wagner was famously married twice to Natalie Wood. But who is she? Who is he currently married to? Five. He'll soon jump. Is he? I was going to say Christopher Walken. You know, one, two, one, one. Right. Yep. I'm looking for a bird. Are we all? Are we all? I thought I'd give the positive. You get the obvious answers in there. Latin. Its Latin name is Lucinia Mega Inchos. The bird has been featured in numerous literary works, most famously in a 19th century poem by Keats. Colin! Thank you, Gary. Did you want to check the times? Yeah, you were. Yeah, you saw it, yeah. There's just three or four there, I can see that. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm looking for an English king here. The fourth plinth on Trafalgar Square was originally intended to have a statue dedicated to me. Before becoming king, he was the Duke of Clarence and St. Andrews. Well, Simon. William IV. Go on, Simon. Yeah. 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 What's the only African country to border both the Mediterranean Sea and the African Sea? Steve Rhodes. What? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Question 16, right. right. I'm looking for the name of a TV series here. And obviously the name has to be you know, exactly correct. Okay, the lead character is called Hannah Baxter, although she is more commonly known by a pseudonym. The main character's agent was played by Cherry Lungi. The series is based on a series of blogs by Brooke and Colin, Secret Diary of a Cold Girl. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, this time look for an, an island. Ariadne was abandoned here by Theseus after helping him to escape from the Mount Tos land. Live. Naxos. 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 Oh. Okay, we're looking for a country this time. It was the first former Soviet country to host the Eurovision Song Contest. It's second. Steve Rudge. George Gordon. No. Simon. Ukraine. No. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to... Steve Kidd. No, it's somebody who's got him before me, didn't they? Simon. No, oh, that's Simon. Latvia. No. Oh. It's not finished yet. It's not finished yet. No, so that's my one of the things I saw. Yeah. I should have put a cell phone down. Its second largest city is Tartu. Michael. Estonia. Estonia. Yeah. Which Scottish team plays its home games at MacDiamond Park? St. Johnson. St. Johnson. The last one. In which English city would you find the Hatton Gallery? Simon. Liverpool. Steve Kidd. Yeah. Sheffield. No. Steve Rhodes. Bristol. No. Mark Preston. London. No. Michael. Um, Manchester. No. Colin. Sheffield. No. 
Clive. Birmingham. Sorry? Yeah, that's it, that's all seven. Newcastle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Leaves uh, is asks the very best question every month is here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good mixture of uh, some long, some short questions, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Right, question one. Uh, this river is a tributary of the Rhine. It is around 339 miles long and flows through Germany, France and Luxembourg. Simon. Moselle. Oh, what an answer. Yes, correct. Is this, Steve, is this recorded? I want to get it. Is it definitely still recording? Good, but. Yeah, good. It's a great answer. Right, so um, Question two. Which composer is also the name of the boy slash doll in the 2016 film The Boy? No! Steve Kidd. I don't know, it's in it yet. Brahms? Yes. Oh, well, look again. <laughs> Don't you start with your buddy looking yes in between yourself again. Yeah. People talk. <laughs> Good answer. It's in the trailers. Right, yeah. Question three. This word is featured in a 1915 novel. It's featured in a series of video games, in a popular song often covered by various artists, a band formed in 1975, and the form The Bifrost Bridge Takes in Norse mythology. Right. Michael. Rainbow. Yeah. yeah. Rainbow Road. <laughs> Yeah, the rainbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. Question four. What is the middle name of Donald Trump? Steve <laughs> Kiffer. No. No, I've gone. Michael. No. James. No. He's got a guess, is it? Steve Rhodes. Toss it. Simon. Mohammed. No. <laughs> Mike, it's not something they're going to guess, is it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, go on then. All right, Colin. Carry on. Cameron. No. George. Mike Preston. No. Like no. <laughs> You're not going to silly. What is it? John. Yeah? I knew it was James. It's John. I suppose I expected some Americans. He calls himself Donald J. Trump. Yeah, I knew it was James. He does, yeah. And I'm not sure if who's going to get this, but we'll see. Question five. In Family Guy, who voices Principal Shepherd? He is known for his roles in Dodgeball as Cotton McKnight and Office Space as Bill Lumberg. Steve Kidd. Vince Vaughn. Nope. Five. Ron Livingston. Nope. Go on. No one else? No. Gary Cole. No? I thought, I thought I knew that. that. Yeah, I thought you were both. Gary you know. Coleman? No, Gary Cole. 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 You know, you know. I made a lot of money, got stolen by Dodgeball. Yeah, go on. Question. Right, question six. Which Tennessee Williams play features the characters Lauren Shannon, Maxine Falk, and Charlotte Goodall? No. Steve. Steve Kidd. Cat on the Hot Tin Roof. No. Steve Rhodes. Let's take a man sit up. We're going to take it. Uh, Matt Preston. Streetcar Named Desire. No. Michael. Yeah. Uh, glass Menagerie? Nope. Simon? I've run out there. <laughs> <laughs> I've run out of only ones I've heard of. Uh, so. Colin? Suddenly last summer? Nope. Clive? Sweet bit of the view. Nope. Is that everyone? Yeah. 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 That's all seven. Yeah. Yeah. Night, yeah. Night of the Iguana, yeah. 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 Night of the Iguana. Protecting his point score at the end of the year. Um, <laughs> question seven. This musical has musical lyrics by Richard Adler and Jerry Ross. It won the Tony Award in 1955 for Best Musical, had a Broadway revival in 2006, and a 1957 film featuring Doris Day. Steve Kidd. Secret Love. No, no. idiot. Right, so he's finished though, so no. no. Colin. No, Carter. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 I'm not looking at anyone in particular, but um, we'll see. <laughs> Which horse came second in this this year's Cheltenham Gold Cup and also last year's Cheltenham Gold Cup? Simon. Pajamaka. No. Matt Preston. <laughs> Steve Kidd. Pajama Rama. No. Four to go. Anyone else? No. Ah, uh, he's he close, but he's, he's Jack Adam. I, mean, I think. Yeah. To be honest, it's a funny spelling of the word. Does it begin with a D? So yeah, D J A R K. It doesn't begin with P anyway, so no. it's not. It was well, far away, it's a funny pronunciation. Yeah, it wasn't Jack and Jack. Right, question nine. This character was created by an author who died this year. No, Carter! Steve Rhodes. Atticus Finch. 
Não, e Jump City. Oh, very okay, good. Okay. Jump City. Okay. Okay. Good, but it's not right. Um, oh, right. Um, brr, so an author who died this year. Uh, his first name is Arthur, but he's better known by an, another name. Michael. Who was it? Who was it? Played, played by Robert Robert Duvall in the film. Yeah. That was that was on. Hey, go. Uh, question ten. We we have no friends. I won't say Jack's age. Question ten. Which which rodent native to Chile is also known as the brush-tailed rat? No. Colin. Coipu. No. Mark Preston. Chinchilla. No. Steve Kidd. Capybara? No. Steve Rhodes? You finished mine, I want Capybara. No. Simon? Have you, ha you haven't finished? No, not Simon. Finished. What? Right, uh, hang on a minute. Uh, uh, Chihuahua? No. Five? A Goopy? A Goopy? No. Right, so it's one minus one of all of them. One of them all? Apart from. Like, yeah. No, no. Yeah. So Michael McFarlane is the whole question. Yeah, go ahead. Wait a minute. Hang on, then. One of Colin. Just do them in today, though, then. One of Mark. One of Steve, oh, Eric, you know one of the other Steve, one of Simon, and one of Clive. Right, so yeah. Um, right, so it's the brush right, right. So you did full stop, yeah. and you waited, and now you finished the question. Go. No, 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 I'm not finished. Right? <laughs> brush, brush tailed rat, and is um, of the genus Octodon. It is similar to a guinea pig or chinchilla in terms of its infra order, and is kept as a pet. Michael. No. <laughs> That's it. Nobody knows? Yeah. Daegu. 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 Oh, I've seen it in a... Looks like a Korean car. Because it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they're, they're really quite interesting creatures to watch. Uh, them, yeah. Very social, very fast and very funny. I think, uh, well, I'm, hope, I'm hoping someone gets this, but this was intended for Mark Lake. <laughs> um, freedom. Wake up. Know your enemy. Fistful of steel. Not harder. Steve Rhodes. Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. yeah. These, are, uh, these are all songs of which self-titled album? Rage Against the Machine. So Killing in the Name was the last oh, one. Yeah. yeah. Good answer, good answer. Um, question 12. And women took their hair as if they're trying to... Steve Rhodes. Yeah. Rotten, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's quick on these. Yeah, well... Question 13. Which show preceded the South Bank show, airing from 1970 to 76? Colin Aquarius. Yes, good answer. Good answer. Great answer. Um, right, question 14. These mythological creatures are considered to be the children of Ixion, king of the Lapis or Lapis and Nephel, a cloud made in the image of Hera. One of the most famous is Chiron, Chiron, or. Michael, Centaur. Centaurs, yeah. Can answer. I like this question, actually. I think this is good. Uh, question 15. Um, which Canadian province's capital shares its name with a capital city of a... Not Steve Rudd. Newfoundland and Labrador. No. Ooh, minus one. Shares its uh, name with a capital city of a country in the Caribbean. Kid. British Columbia. No, 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 I'm looking for the, the, the capital. The capital. Oh, Victoria. No. New Brunswick. No. Michael. Saint John. Saint John. Yeah, yeah cause it's Saint yeah. John. So, it's unlucky because it is Newfoundland. Yeah. I thought you wanted to. I, I said which Canadian province is capital? Yeah. Did you yeah. say that? Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. No. <coughs> I want second. The rest are on my phone. No, you don't. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, question sixteen. Founded in 1872 by George and Ernest Adnam, in which county is Adnam's brewery located? Right. Yeah. <coughs> Michael. Question 17. Yeah. Um, Question 17. The Machimosaurus was the largest in the Jurassic period of which type of creature? Steve Kidd. Sauropod. No. No, I just want a general, a general <coughs> creature, uh, no. Right, well, well Brachiosaur. No. So, carry on. Anyone else? No! Michael! Dinosaur. No. Simon. A patasaur. No, no. Steve Rhodes. Bird. No. Oh, you can run around with better lines. Cohen. You go out again. No. Nothing. Clive. Elephant. No. 
Is it Mark left? No, it's oh, just, I don't know. Mark left. Tyrannus Rex, I don't know. No, it's a uh, crocodile. Ah. Biggest crocodile. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. Let's see you. Um, uh, question 18. Offshore was the winner of the 1979 Booker Prize, but who wrote it? Steve Kidd. Lively. Yeah. No. Clive. Nobody fits Joe. Yes, oh, great answer, great answer. I'm lucky you had Penelope in there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Penelope was there. Um, Should have the first day. <laughs> question 19. In which year was the first Indianapolis 500? And the Mona Lisa was also stolen in this. Simon? 1923. Nope. Michael? 1911. Yeah. Yeah, well, Great, great answer. I think that was it. That was, they, they were quick as well, weren't they? They were not, you're not finished. Um, and well, I don't only have to say this year. Yeah, that was it. That was the I would tell my address. Right, okay. And uh, last one. When Tottenham won 9 1 against Wigan in 2009, who scored five goals? Michael no! the fourth. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Can we crack straight on with the next 20 questions from somebody, please? Yeah, that's right. Okay, question one. Name the element with the symbol SR. <laughs> Steve Kidd, strong team. Correct. Question two. In 2014, who published the controversial short story, The Assassination? Not Carter. Colin. Hilary Mantel. Correct. They make other things, but for what are the fashion house Jimmy Choo best? Steve Rhodes. Shoot. Correct. Which TV series was an adaptation of Stephen Ambrose's real account of the work? Well, Michael Vanderbrus. Correct. Okay. What was the title of Alan Bennett's acclaimed series of monologues written? No! Colin. Talking Nets. Correct. <laughs> By what name was Martha Jane Carney Burke? Simon. Robert to Jane. Correct. Mount Rushmore, famous for the sculpture of four US presidents, is in which? Not part of Steve Kidd. Oh. oh. Just. In, like, how tight is that? It's South Dakota. Like a bastard. It is South Dakota, yes. You have doubts, don't you, when you press? I do anyway, all the time. I'm, I'm, Question I'm, I'm eight. Close. What is the bizarre dance style uh, introduced? Whoa, 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 whoa. Steve Rhodes. Gangnam. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> it's getting that way again. <laughs> We're all going down with spirals. Question nine. Who wrote the novel The Kraken Wakes? Oh, God. Steve Kidd and Clive Tyne. Okay. Wyndham. Wyndham. Yes, correct. Nobody said John. So that's one each. <laughs> one each for Clive like and Steve Kidd. Okay. Right. Okay then. Israel Isidore Balin was the real name of Steve Kidd. Irving Berlin. Correct. <laughs> Question 11. The series that began with There is nothing wrong with your television set. Steve Kidd. Out to limits. Correct. Question 12. The remains of which abbey destroyed in Henry VIII's dissolution lies in Studley Royal Park in... Steve Kidd. Fountains. Correct. Hat trick! <laughs> Question 13. How is the Stanley Kubrick's 1964 satire of the military... Steve Kidd. <laughs> Doctor Strangelove. Yes. Uh, I, think we, I think we should yes. have the full time. Yeah. Oh, how yeah. I learned to love the war. No, let's well, stop loving the Because blah, blah, blah. the rest well, of the question was that. subtitled How I Love to right, Learn to Stop Worrying and Love so, the Bomb. So what's going on here? Yeah? What's oh, yeah. done? Nothing much. There we go. Sorry. Oh, it's probably because I've gone off the screen. Yeah, it is. Do you want to stretch that screen out a bit? It's because you've got about four or five questions, right? The road's yeah. just bombed. No, uh, you might, you don't want to stretch it down, just stretch oh. it up uh, across, that's right. Hey, check it out! Is that that guy, yeah? Gangnam style. <laughs>
Question 14. They're creepy and they're kooky. Mysterious. Colin. Adam Stanley. Correct. Dis question 15. Discovered in 1996, element number 112 in the periodic table with the symbol CN is named after which Polish astronomer? Nark Herder. Michael Bundes. Correct. Question 16. What before the year 2000, when an exchange rate of 25,000 to 1 US dollar was established and officially adopted, was the standard unit of the currency of Ecuador? Nark Herder. Steve Kidd. Bolivar? Nope. Stevie Rhodes. Pesa? Nope. Simon. Escudo. No. Clive. Sucre. It is the Sucre. Yes, well done. They still have them. Not so many minuses this round. Well, maybe. <laughs> Question 17. Which Latin word or phrase translates as in the womb? Colin. In utero. Correct. Question 18. Which Marx Brothers film concerns the declaration of war by Five. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Question 19. In computer technology, what do the initials DDR stand for when applied to memory storage? Steve Kidd. Direct digital... No. <laughs> Nobody? No, it's an oddball one. It's double data rate. You'd know that, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. I would. <laughs> and finally, question 20. In which Dickens novel is there a cricket match between <laughs> five <laughs> pickwick <laughs> and the back of their phone? Well done, sir. Thank you very much for those two rounds.